Hello there YouTube, uh, my name is Daniel and uh, I'm a comic uh, graphic novel uh, collector from Sweden and uh, I've been collecting comics for about uh, one and a half years, almost uh, closer to two years now and um, it's one of my hobbies, uh, I like to talk about comics with uh, friends uh, a few friends that actually read comics and stuff like that uh, and uh, I've been watching a lot of you guys' uh, uh, videos of your collections and uh, Instock Trades hauls and comic hauls and stuff like that and uh, I thought maybe I should do it as well um, but uh, I probably won't show you my collection it hasn't changed much since uh, Joachim Comic Center put a video up on his channel uh, when he visited me here uh, in Stockholm a few uh, months ago or a month and a half ago I think um, so if you would like to see what I have in my collection at the moment um, just check that video out, out and um, but I, I'll put a link down in the description for you. I'll probably make a video of my collection at a later date when uh, I've sorted out uh, some of the, the shelving problems, the storage problems of my comics. Uh, the collection is starting to grow out of the current shelf and uh, I'm thinking of different solutions to uh, store my comics or graphic novels. Uh, stuff like that so um, but let's get into it uh, my call uh, my most recent in stock trades hall uh, the first I'm going to record and the fourth in stock trades hall I have uh, actually received thus far so first off um, I have a comic from the imprint of uh, uh, Robert Kirkman's uh, his imprint is Skybound, right? Uh, so uh, this is a comic called Manifest Destiny. Uh, a funny little story about this one. A friend of mine, uh, Matthias Lava, or his channel is called uh, Matthias Lava. Uh, he uh, recommended I should get this uh, book, uh, but a few ve weeks ago, uh, uh, or before that, he uh, I. Um, uh, had actually put an order through Instock Trace for this. Uh, this was in the beginning of uh, May. Uh, it just takes a lot, a lot of time for the uh, the the halls or the orders to ship from America to Sweden. So this is a, a long wait. But now I, when I got this, he insisted I read this first. So I'm about. Uh, a fifth, I have an issue basically I think, I, ha I think I have an issue left to read. Uh, so far I really really like this book, the art is outstanding, uh, it really fits the story and uh, and uh, the writing is really cool, uh, I like it. Um, so I'm looking forward to ordering uh, volume 2 and 3 in this series as well. I hear people think uh, volume 2 isn't that good but it picks up in volume 3 again but I'm just gonna go in blind thinking of this volume and trying to have my own opinion afterwards when I've read it <laughs> um, so this is the first book in my haul uh, most of the books in the haul is gonna be uh, image comics then there's a few DC books and a dark horse book as well uh, so uh, next haul might be more Marvel centered or DC, depends on what I feel like buying at that time. Um, so the next book, it's called uh, Faster Than Light. Uh, I have honestly no idea what this is, this is going to be about, but on the back it says tomorrow we discover the key to faster than light travel. Uh, our, our world will never be the same. So, sci-fi, I love sci-fi, so I'm thinking I'm gonna enjoy this. And uh, 
just a quick flip through the artwork. Uh, this is looking really cool. Um, I honestly like this uh, style of art and uh, the story I think is going to be really really fun to actually read. So I'm looking forward to this and uh, this is under the imprint of Shadow Line uh, in, at the image. So I don't know who actually runs that imprint but um, it's the same imprint that makes uh, Peter Panther Faust and uh, Panzer Faust and uh, Rat Queens which is the next book I got in my haul uh, Rat Queens Volume 3 I've read 1 and 2 I really really liked the first two volumes um, they seem to switch the artists from each volume or story arc so as they are sticking through, uh, sticking to their uh, guns here, changing the artist, and uh, quick look through the the pages. The art style is quite good for this one. I'm hoping the story will hold up as well. Uh, the next book, the main reason I got into comics is a writer called Robert Kirkman and his Walking Dead series. Um, the I really really love The Walking Dead and he has written several other series as well and uh, one of his most famous other series that other than Walking Dead is uh, Invincible I have a few hard covers of that uh, they are gorgeous books and uh, but he recently started uh, writing another comic as well uh, and it's called Outcast. This is book two or volume two. Um, I really really loved the first volume. So the reason I got this is just because I love the story, uh, the pace of the story and the artwork is so fitting to the story. So um, the first volume I read in one sitting. So um, this is going to, I'm thinking this is going to be really really fun read or not. Fun, fun, it's an interesting read. Uh, I really think I'm gonna enjoy this one. Uh, if you haven't read Outcast, this is a good horror comic. Slow paced though, uh, uh, but it's a really, really good read if you are into some uh, like demons and stuff like that. Or I think it's demons or it's ghosts, I don't know. Uh, might need to reread volume one before I read this. Uh, next up, I have another image comic. It's uh, by one of my favorite authors, um, Mark Miller, and uh, one of my absolute favorite artists as well. It's uh, John Gordon Murphy. Uh, the book is called Chrononauts. It's a four issue series uh, or book one it says so it's it might be a we might get a follow-up to this I hope so um, I like sci-fi so I'm thinking this is a sci-fi story uh, just a quick look through art is also always great with uh, Sean, Sean Murphy um, I'm, I'm, I think it's gonna be a fun read so if they put up put out uh, book two or uh, vol volume two in this series, I'm gonna go and buy that one as well. Um, next up, the last trade of the haul is uh, a book by Rick Remender and uh, an artist called Greg Tocchini. Uh, if I pronounce the name wrong, please correct me. Um, but I loved volume one of uh, uh, this series, Low. Uh, the story was really, really cool. Uh, I liked the sci-fi elements. Uh, it's set in the ocean, deep down in the ocean. And the art is what really hooked me here. Uh, I really, really love the artwork. I'm just gonna try and find a uh, page which is not filled with spoilers uh, for anyone if they are interested in reading this. Just look at this, the artwork is so 
beautiful. <laughs> so if you have the, haven't checked it out, most of you most likely have checked the uh, low out, but if you haven't, please do. Um, this is a really, really good uh, story about uh, survival, basically. And uh, there's sci-fi elements if you're into sci-fi, so go check that out. Uh, next up, the first uh, hardcover. And this is a book by Grant Morrison. Most I have seen this is in uh, many uh, halls, uh, so this isn't that new for anyone to see. But it's uh, Wonder Woman Earth One. I have uh, the other volumes in the Earth One series of books. It's uh, like graphic novels, so they are released in this fashion from the beginning, so it's not a collected edition. Uh, as you, most of you know, uh, I've read Batman, Superman, and I have, I have uh, Teen Titans on my to-read list. Um, so I'm thinking, or I'm hoping, that this uh, hardcover might give me a good introduction to the character. Uh, I have uh, high hopes for this. <laughs> um, I really like the Earth One series, so um, I hope this will be as good as the other ones. Uh, next up, the first deluxe edition I have uh, in my haul, it's um, a book called Kingdom Come. I have no idea what this is about, if it ties into anything or if it uh, actually uh, is a standalone story. I have no idea. Uh, but I have uh, read m many comments about um, these uh, recent books from both Marvel and DC that people don't like that they are choosing more a th more thin paper stock um, and I, I can see why uh, the book usually gets uh, a bit wobbly you see the pages I don't see if, if I can get there you go there's um, wobbliness to <laughs> if that is even a word uh, the pages gets wavy so um, people might be annoyed by that but since the pages are uh, that thin and uh, this book has glued binding or it looks like glue binding or it's so tightly sewn that it it feels like glue binding when you open it but since the pages are so thin uh, the book basically stays open like this when you open it. So there is virtually no gutter loss at all. And uh, when you open it to the back end of the book, so it stays open. So thinner paper stock in these thinner hardcovers, uh, I think it helps the book book's uh, build quality in the sense that it stays open uh, when you try to read it you ha don't have to wrestle the book to keep it open and stuff like that so just a thought um, next up I have a book from Image hard an Image hardcover um, it's called uh, We Stand on Guard and it's written by one of my other favorite uh, art authors uh, by Brian K. Vaughan uh, this book, I have really n not a big clue about what it's about, but I think it's America is invading Canada with these big mechs. Uh, or, yeah, I think it is. Uh, it's a six issue miniseries. Um, so I'm just. I think the artwork in this, I have had, I have had a quick look through this. Uh, it looks quite cool. Uh, I'm just gonna try to find a, yeah, there, uh, a spread which will not be too much spoilery for you. So, 
The artwork is gorgeous, as always, with uh, many of the <laughs> comics I pick up. It's always uh, in the eye of the beholder, of course, but I, f I really like this type of artwork. Um, and the colors are fitting the, the tone of the book. Uh, next up, another image deluxe edition hardcover. Uh, this one is written by uh, Ed Brubaker and uh, drawn by Sean Phillips. It's called Fatal. Um, it's, I think it's a uh, crime noir uh, with the elements of uh, supernatural stuff. Uh, so it's basically an, a thriller horror comic, I think. Uh, this I got on a whim. Uh, I like the art style of Sean Phillips and I really like uh, Ed Brubaker's writing so I, f I thought you can't go wrong here. Uh, so I know there's a second volume, a second book in this uh, hardcover format. There's five trades collecting the entire series so I'm gonna get the second hardcover probably with my next in stock trades haul or the second after that. Hopefully it won't go out of print before that. <laughs> then I will be sad. Uh, next up, two books left. Uh, two books left. And uh, it's... The reason I got this book uh, is because um, I really like Rick Remender's writing and I loved Greg Totini's uh, artwork in Low. So I figured why not try to find something that they might have collaborated on uh, before. And I found a book called Last Days of American Crime. So I think it's a dystopian future sci-fi story. Uh, and the art is all, as always, or as I thought, with the great Tachini, it would, it would appeal to me. Uh, the book is really beautifully put together and um, I will most likely try to find a good uh, uh, time to review this, uh, to talk to you guys about this book. Uh, I'm just gonna try to find a good spot to show you some of the interiors. Here we go. The last page on one of the issues. Oh, there's some glare. There you go. Beautiful artwork. This I was happy about getting. Uh, I did not realize that the book was this huge. If you compare it to one of the trades I've gotten, uh, Size-wise, it's even larger than a deluxe edition. More like more closer to the um, format of uh, the D uh, the Dark Horse uh, Library editions. So here's to being happily surprised uh, by certain comics. This is originally put out by a company called Radical Comics, I think, and. Uh, then, uh, yeah, Radical Publishing, and then reprinted in this format by Image, uh, or with Image help. Next up, the last book of the whole, uh, but very much not the least book. Um, it's another Rick Remender story, um, and it's drawn by uh, Tony Moore and Jerome Opeña. Um, and it's uh, a sci-fi story. <laughs> you can most likely uh, guess what a book is. And it, yeah, you guessed it right. It's a uh, fear agent. Um, I've been on the fence about getting this book for a while now. And I've seen a few reviews of this book. Uh, one done by Hardcover Reviews and one done by Nerd Ventures. They both said that this book was an amazing story, fun read, and uh, great artwork. So I got hooked by it. 
by their sales pitch basically um, and um, but I was a bit nervous about this big book and I think someone has told me that it was glued binding but when a dark horse hardcover in this size has a glued binding I was a bit nah can't be right right so it's been I've been thinking about getting this book if it's worth it if it has glued binding or sewn binding sewn binding is a lot better and this one has sewn binding of course as as most as I think every the uh, dark horse uh, uh, library edition uh, has some binding right uh, but me being new to this uh, collecting this style of book I had to try to figure out if it was worth it and just getting the book and flipping through it it was well worth it I have already put book two uh, in an order so I'll probably receive that in a few weeks um, and um, I'm really happy about this book and I'll probably t try to talk about it if it's any help for you or maybe just do an overview about the binding and the, and the artwork and the story of that uh, stuff like that you have two great reviews by as I said Nerd Ventures and, and the hardcover review so well, um, this has been fun. Um, I've shown you my latest in Star Trades haul. Uh, I'll probably do another haul video when the next one arrives. Uh, in the meantime, please check out uh, Joachim Comic Center's uh, um, video about my col collection um, <coughs> if uh, you feel like it. Uh, maybe you see something you would want to know more about uh, just ask me in the comment section uh, and I'll try to see if I can make a video about it and uh, yeah thanks for watching